climate protesters taking their activism to the street this week, completely blocking traffic on the I-495 Beltway in Montgomery County, Maryland, and demanding that President Biden declare a climate emergency. Now, that protest prevented a parolee from getting to work. Watch. No, I'm about to get locked up for four years with my parole if I don't make my job. And y'all are so inconsiderate. Yo, we are live streaming right now. Come on, man. One lane. I'm asking one lane. Before I go to prison, bro. One lane before I now, that parolee was arrested after he became agitated and tried to physically remove, allegedly, some of the protesters. Richard, you and I were talking offline. Um, the restrictions that these parolees are under. There is no room for mistakes, inadvertence, being late. We've both seen people return to prison for much less than showing up late to the job. There is honor in him trying to comply with the, at times, draconian restrictions. There is no honor in blocking the freeway and blocking people from getting to work. No, I believe in the First Amendment protest, but I actually agree with you here. I actually wrote a story about this for Forbes about... I had a, a roundtable of returning citizens and really zeroing in on some of the problems they face once they've already sort of done their time. A lot of them face problems with finding housing because nobody wants to give a returning citizen housing because you have to check that I was once a felon. They have a hard time finding jobs. And on top of that, many of them, because they have to deal with parole officers, it's really hard. And yeah. they face these unsurmountable odds trying to reintegrate to society. And I think, you know, they need a little bit more grace. And the system has no grace to give them. That's right. The social stigma is absolutely real of being um, a, a convict. Um, but Harris, the, and the, the, the point remains that here now, we don't know the outcome, actually, for this gentleman. We know that he was arrested. We don't yeah. know whether he... We know, actually, he didn't make it to work. We don't know now. He might be facing 54 years. And that other guy remains stalwart. He said, no, until Biden declares an emergency, I will not budge. So I, I see this, I won't say differently, but kind of turned on its head a little bit. What if you're in the back of that pack, that, that traffic pack, and you're having a medical emergency? Mm -hmm. Like, there, there are a lot of things that could be going on besides the one guy that, that happens to get upset enough to be out in the middle of the intersection trying to move the people because he's got to get to work on, on restrictions on being paroled. But what about the rest of us? You know, I, I mean, yes, the First Amendment. Yes, you can protest peacefully, but you got, he was right. You got to have a lane. Like, what if an ambulance needed to get through? Are these people just going to sit there and, and stay the problem? Would the cops then have to move in and move them? I mean, there has to be some common ground on what peaceful protesting looks like. We broke it in May of 2020, right? Like, I don't even think we have any idea now. That's but right. we need to get back to it and figure it out. That's right. And we've gone from the violent of 2020 to the absolutely ridiculous. People gluing themselves to Starbucks counters. Right. I know, that was gross. To <laughs> the master's no. artworks. I mean, the, the naked bike rides, like, the list goes on. Truckers because, blocking yes, roads. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, so much. Oh, wait, whoa. It's, it's because these it's people are... Words. It's because they're trying to find religion, right? I mean, you look at every study. People on the left are less religious than the right. So that's what this is about. It's about finding... And they think it's in the intersection? Burning cities down in 2020 in the name of Black Lives Matter, firebombing pregnancy centers in the name of abortion, and then doing this in the name of climate, right? It's about finding religion in the form of activism and politics rather than I God. Mean, let, but let's yeah. be very clear. I think we've seen First Amendment protests on both sides of the aisle get a little bit raucous. Uh, um, we don't ride bikes left. naked I mean, on the right. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, I mean, Richard. Actually, 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 I've never done a naked bike ride. I've never glued myself to a bad girl Oh, my gosh, but the other side of the couch is saying that they I think it's just you and me, Kelly. Wait, what? I think it's just you and me. Rest on our bike. Just saying. Who looks at, okay, who looks at these protests and says, Van Gogh painting, gluing yourself to, naked bike ride, I want to be with these people because they're cool. Like, you're undermining your own cause. They also called Biden a failed president, the guys who are about to protest the congressional baseball game. So interesting. You've lost the crazies, Mr. President. Yeah, well, I guess that's one thing we have in common. I don't think they ever had them. But that's it. Maybe you never had him. <laughs> All right. Hey, everyone. I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts, Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany, on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern. Or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.